All right, ready when you are. Okay. Hey guys, Brad Dattis here from Dattis MMA and CrossFit Supercharged in Philadelphia. I wanted to take a minute to show some of you how to make a little bit of a, almost like a gymnastics wrap for our hands to protect uh, the calluses, the rips that we get when we're doing pull-ups and things like that. Especially, I've gotten some requests for this because at our gym, we have a lot of people that do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu where their gripping is very important. So they can't go from doing a wad, ripping their hands, and then going and grabbing people's uniforms. And it can become a really nasty thing. So first and foremost is taking care of your hands. When the calluses start to get too thick, you know, use the pumice stone, get them back down to a reasonable size. I mean, so I have a rip on one end right now, and that's why we decided to go ahead and make this video right now. The other side doesn't, but as you can see, um, it's starting to, the calcium is building up and I, maybe I need to, to file that down a little, a little bit. You know, hand care is important for what we do, especially if you have a, um, you know, a local throwdown coming up or, a, uh, or you're doing the open or the regionals, whatever it might be, you want to be ready to go. Or if you have an upcoming jiu-jitsu tournament because you train in martial arts, like those knuckleheads over there, you will want to take care of your hands, right? I like this better than a, a gymnastics, like a leather um, professional gymnastics grip. You know, we have those as well. The leather uh, has a little bit less friction. So when we're on the bar, for example, it's a little bit slipperier. So we're not, since we're not doing some things that a gymnast would, we're not doing full circles and things like this where we want less friction. You know, the most movement we're really doing is, anytime we're kipping, we are, we're gonna get we're gonna get a little movement in there, but it's not extreme. You know what I mean? So this gives us a little bit more friction to stay onto the bar, and this is just as equally as good for you know, when we go to use the barbell. We're still in good shape. You'd be surprised. Do, some people don't understand that working up if you're all day competing or using a barbell that you, you could still get the same rips on your hand. So real quick, we'll go over how to do it. Uh, I'm going to kind of do a hasty version, so to speak. I don't believe it. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. There's not one way to skin a cat. We use tape all the time around here. It's just ba basic athletic sports tape. Um, so because I'm about to do a workout, I just, I just toss it on. If, again, if this were for a competition, you'd want to make sure you did it with perfect structural integrity, or you might want to have some backup. Because this is what I'm going to first show you how to make, real quick, real simple. All right, guys, check it out. So this is where we're going to get the calluses the most. We can make this for any area, but especially that third finger. Tear off about 14 inches of tape. After you do this once or twice, you'll get a gauge for what you need. Lay it down. Can you see me, Jess? Yes, sir. I fold it over. But if you note, I left a little bit of a lip where it could be sticky still. Now I'm going to take it, find the center, line, center point, fold it in half, and I use that. I make sure I have enough fing, uh, space for my finger. And I come down. And again, I'm not worried too much about making it perfect. Boom. Here, I want to make sure I go over the tape, though to make sure the adhesive sticks. Good, from that stage, get another piece of tape right on top. Now we're reinforcing and we're gonna have a little bit smoother, smoother uh, tape at this stage. Hold it back onto itself. Boom, 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 boom. And rip. If you're anal, you wanna use scissors, by all means, go for it. So there we have it, right? Now I can stick it on my finger, wherever I have, might have the problem. You know, I don't have a rip right there right now. I have a healing rip, but if I wanted to just to be safe, I'd go ahead and do this. Maybe I just need it on that one, and I don't need it on both. So be it. So from that stage, ah, heck, I'll just show you both, because we have another one here anyway. One on the middle finger. So again, if you guys, when I make videos, it's typically for our students, but if anybody 
any CrossFitter, anyone that watches this and wants to do it, learn uh, how to do it, that's great too. Just know that this is just our method and it's not, we're not worried about, we don't have the time to make everything perfect. So now I'm going to take, put those two together, take a piece of tape, go right down the center. You can have somebody help you with this, of course. I recommend that if they're available. I want to keep those two pieces of tape together as close as possible. And rip. And you can see how fast I'm moving. One reason is because I want to show you that you can do it quickly. And another reason is I have to jump in that class over there and help those guys out in a second. Now, I got this flat side. If you have a rip though, go ahead and put some, some nail spore in and, and the band-aid on first. You know what I mean? That's fine. And then have the tape on top. That roll of tape. Around the wrist. Once. Now, the reason I didn't stress on how long to make that initial, those initial strips is because it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to fold it over anyway. Fold it over like so. And you can see I do this on my own typically. Boom. And I'm in business. Make sure you don't go too tight with here and cut off the blood flow to your hand. And yes, it's okay for there to be a little bit of space underneath. It's not supposed to be glued to your hand. But right now, I'm set. I'm set to go. Um, some places, you know, in our, our Cherry Hill location, um, it's, we have a, a pull-up rig that is just piping. You know what I mean? And you can tear your hands up pretty good when you're doing a pull-up. This is a Rogue rig which has the powder coating on top of the bars. It's a little bit more user-friendly. Um, but you'll know when I'm here now, God, I feel a ton better. And the times where I've had to do this, it's been successful. Uh, after that, obviously, when you take them off, take good care of your hands, make sure that not, you don't get infections and whatnot. Um, am I missing anything, Jesse, that I might want to say? Jesse's our cameraman right now. No, sir. Sounds good to me. Okay, guys. I hope that works for you. If you have any questions, you can shoot me an email. Uh, visit CrossFitSupercharged.com. Uh, just hit the Contact Us button or you, you'll see the email address there. If you are interested in training, feel free. We have our 21-day free trial that's in effect right now. 21 days of training for free. Um, just hit us up. We look forward to meeting you. Uh, students, I will see you in whichever class you take. Take care, guys. Peace.